What's up everyone? This is Comics on the Edge here from the Comic Book Fiend Club West Chapter. Um, I'm here with a haul video. But it's not just any ordinary haul video. It's actually a CGC haul video. Now, a while back ago I submitted about 20 books. No, not 12 books. I submitted 12 books. And oh, it, it took less than 20 days to get back to me. So um, this isn't like an unboxing or anything. It's it's already stuff I've already showed um, on my Instagram, uh, Comics on the Edge on Instagram. And um, I did like a live unboxing. Uh, I have a YouTube channel now, so it's like I kind of wanted content for that as well. So now I'm just gonna kind of show like a haul video to kind of show what I got and you know just just post it up on my my YouTube channel so um, let's get started here um, a lot of these books I you know got you know pretty cheap and um, I, uh, I was holding on them for a while and finally did something with them so um, when I went ahead and just uh, submitted them this to CGC um, and I was actually, you know, because I have the $150 membership, and you got to use it within the calendar year, or else you lose out on it. So I think I made it by like maybe like two weeks. So um, you know, I was able to to use that credit that I got, and um, you know, with the grades I got with this box, you know, it makes sure you just want to submit even more stuff. So um, let me go ahead and show you what I got. Um, it's gonna go from the lowest grade to the highest. Um, this this is one of the lower grades that I got. Um, you know, uh, it, you know, it's kind of a book you don't you don't find too very often. It's a, it's actually a reprint of Amazing Spider-Man 129. Um, <clears throat> the cool thing about this one is that it's a it's actually a Hasbro Hasbro reprint, so um, this was included with the Hasbro toys. Hasbro doesn't make um, action figures for for Marvel anymore, um, so this was one of the books that you can get um, on high like high grades on these books. Uh, you know, you could probably get like a mid grade original uh, Amazing Spider Man one twenty nine. So um, this one, unfortunately, got a 9.2. I mean, it's still a good grade, um, but uh, you know, I, like I said, the higher grades go for a lot more, and that would have been nice. But um, yeah, so uh, so I got this one. It's a 9.2. You know, it's still above a nine, which I was hoping for on all these books that I got. So I'm still happy with it. Um, you know these books like like I said they're hard to find and if you ever um, see one of these you're gonna want to look for this the not for resale um, printing right there because there's about like three re reprints that look the same um, one of the more common ones it'll say Marvel right here instead of the not for uh, resale the Marvel ones are from, I think, the Marvel Legacy or something like that. And then there's a Lionsgate one, which all right here has a, it says the Punisher. But this one in particular is the, um, the Hasbro reprint. Like I said, they're harder to find. So that's how you're going to, you're going to be able to find it is right here. Uh, not for resale. If you ever find one of these, grab it. I did. Moving along. Is Back to the Future. This one's a Universal Studios promotional book. Um, this one also got a 9.2. Pretty happy with that grade. It's, you know, this book is from 1991. So. The shit has kind of been through, the stuff that has been through is just like, damn, all right, like, cool. Um, 
So this one, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a first, it doesn't say first appearance or anything, but you know, I think it kind of predates all the other, um, you know, Back to the Future books. So, you know, it's just pretty cool promotional items. I kind of like that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it keeps it a little bit rare. You know, uh, but yeah, I, you know, I was pretty happy with that. I was holding up, like I got, I got three of them. So I decided to try my luck on one of them. And I got a 9.2. But still, you know, it's a higher, higher grade than 9.0, which I really wanted to stay above. Um, okay, the next one here is Bubble Gun number two. It's a J. Scott Campbell cover, um, Retailer Incentive Edition from 2013. This is a pretty uh, hard to find book. Um, you know, not even uh, J. Scott Campbell collectors have a hard time finding this. Um, they, they just, uh, you know, they're just not around as much so you know it's from Aspen Comics um, but it's a you know it's a beautiful cover from J. Scott Campbell I mean it's just like there's a there's a no, number one is actually colored this one's just a, like a sketch uh, I don't know which one's harder to find I really like the color one you know it look, you know pops a little bit more and stuff like that um, and I'm not really into the sketch books i'd rather have them colored you know what even when i get commissions and stuff done by artists i really strive to get the um the colored version so but it was a 9.4 um still pretty good grade um the census on this is you know very low there's not you know too many out there so um you know still pretty happy about that one and um, let's see what is next. The next one is going to be Adventures of Sly Cooper, number one. Now, I haven't had this book for too long, but it's a beautiful book. Really, really cool condition. Um, you know, I got a 9.6, which uh, there's nothing above 9.6. For this book um, you know so it's a it's a wraparound cover uh, based on the video game by Sucker Punch Productions um, this, this book is pretty cool to me because it takes two of the things I like which are video games and comic books and um, you know this the wraparound is just like like really awesome you know got the back just like looking really cool and clean um, so yeah this one got a 96 which like I said there's not even any any nine eights this is one of two nine sixes out there in the universe so that's pretty cool I never played the game though but uh, you know, I could I could appreciate a video game book, um, a video game comic book like that. All right, the next one is Lumberjanes, number one, and this is this one's actually a Boom Studios edition. So from what I hear, it's for it's it was given away to people that worked on the book or had something to do with the book. So. There's 250 of them floating around. I have one of them, and it is a 98. So it's kind of cool. Um, you can still find some of these on eBay floating around every now and then. But what I notice is some of them have uh, like a sketch. Mostly right here, uh, the artist will draw like a, like the uh, the person holding a cat or or a goat or some some sort of animal or just you know something around here. This one has nothing, like, you know, obviously it has no sketches on or anything like that. That's why it came back at a, you know, with a blue label. But just watch out for that because, you know, not knowing because it, you know, it's a sketch. And if, if somebody else sketches on it, it kind of looks like it belongs with the book. 
and it really doesn't. So you'll get like a different color label on that. But um, yeah, my first appearance of uh, April, Molly, Mal, Ripley, Jen, and Rosie. I love multiple first appearance books, and this is one of them. And this is such a rare book. I mean, hey, right on my alley. There's a back right there. You know, it says special edition. Um, 9-8, I mean, really, really cool. And so, you know, it's a white cover, which white covers tend to like get dirtier and stuff like that. But this one, you know, was kept really clean. The next book I have, um, this is a pretty rare book too. Um, it's called uh, Gem and the Holograms Number One. Now the special thing about this book, it's it's done by um, Art Germ, and he is an uh, amazing, amazing artist. Um, he does beautiful work. He, uh, his characters are amazing that he draws. Um, he's just he's he's a, a real rock star when it comes to comic books right now. And um, the the special thing about this book is is it's actually a comics and ponies sketch edition. So you can only get this on the website. Um, uh, I'm not too sure what comics and ponies is. I I don't know if it's like a charity organization or um, if it's some kind of like I have no idea to be honest. But beautiful book really hard to find and it's a 9-8 you know a uh, little side note I do have my own press machine and I have pressed a lot of these books um, so I was kind of like just hoping for high grades so that you know it keeps me motivated to to press books and stuff because you know there's there's really not too much information about out there about pressing comic books and stuff like that and sometimes you could really ruin a really valuable book or a, a book that like means a lot to you so um, you know I've been studying it for like a year and a half to two years got my own machine kind of like you know set it off to the side for a while and now I'm just you know I'm kind of go, going full force as far as pricing pricing my own stuff actually so um yeah this is a, one of the books i pressed too um i did i think i found this in like a dollar bin or something like that so it kind of needed a little bit of tlc there's there's another cover of this and it's it's a color edition um i don't think that there's any difference as far as like how what how many were released of each book i think they're they're both the same so um yeah, I'm really happy to have this book. It's a it's an awesome, awesome book by an awesome, awesome artist. All right, so moving on. This book I got from a trade, and um, you know, it's it's actually like a highly sought after book, and. People are just waiting for something to happen with it. And that is Saga number one. Um, yeah, this is uh, on, you know, I mean, they just recently stopped the series or taken a hiatus on it, but people love this book. I haven't read, read any of it, but um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I know, I, I hear people talk about this book all the time. So it seems pretty interesting. and. I got a 9.8 on it, which is ridiculous. I mean, uh, like I said, I got it from a trade and it's just like, you never know what you're gonna get, especially with the white pages. Um, you know, the white pages, like, sometimes I feel like you have to look look through it or look at it with the, um, like a, a, a infrared, you know, a flashlight or not infrared, but like a, like a black light or something like that just to notice the creases and stuff like that. I didn't do that with this obviously but you know you just never know so this is a book I was kind of afraid of like once I sent it out I was like 
Could I have done more? I don't know. Maybe I could have. Not too sure. But when I got it back, I was, a, you know, just excited. Like, a 9-8, I mean, that's, that's crazy. So... See what else there is. Um, oh, this next one here. Again, it's a white cover. There's a little bit of black on the back, so sometimes that black will rub up against the front. It's a regular cover too, so so it's not a very or anything. But the book is Edge of Spider Verse number two, first appearance of Spider Gwen. Um. Yeah, I've, uh, this was sitting around in my collection for years, and um, just kind of been holding on to it. Uh, I mean, just waiting to, you know, get motivated to grade this stuff, and uh, finally did it. And this is another book that I was just like, damn, like, is there other stuff I could have done to get, like, you know, improve my chances on getting a 9-8? And, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, one of the things that kind of like was throwing me off was uh, if if um, there was a digital code on here sometimes uh, they have digital codes on here and it comes with like a sticker and if you don't press it right that's that um that sticker will indent through the whole book and it's it's uh, marked as like damage some sort of damage so it'll it'll lower your grade um, but yeah, I mean, I submitted this, got a 9-8. I was totally happy about that. I mean, that was just like, wow. I mean, just excited, you know? Like like I said, it was my first time ever submitting on my own. Uh, when I've submitted books before, it was at conventions or something like that. Um, and you know, those books that were like freshly bought there, like if they were like, um, uh, convention exclusives or anything like that so like I said this one was in my collection and I brought it out cleaned it up pressed it and it came out on a 9-8 so obviously I did everything I could to the book and got good results now I also had a second copy and you know the same the same things were you know, kind of rolling in my head, could I have done more, whatever, I did it, and got a good grade, a good grade on it, 9-8, I mean, that's, that's amazing, you know, uh, it just kind of goes to show that, like, if you take the time, you know, uh, like I said, some of these books I found on the cheap end, and some of them I found without boxes and boards, you know, they're just kind of sitting there or somebody got a new collection and let me go through them. And I just kind of like picked them out. So, you know, you don't know what type of uh, uh, handling it's been through until you get the, the grades at the end. So, 9-8, I was really, really happy about that. Um, got three more left. This book right here, my baby, Howard the Duck number one, first appearance of Gwenpool. I collect the series, I try to collect all the variants, I just love the character, and I would, so, yeah, I just was excited, you know, the fact that I got a 19 on this, I mean, it's, it's one of these books that you don't really see too often, you know, especially on eBay. Um, you'll find them but they're really like expensive or a lot of people have them but they're like overseas um this one it's just like uh i found in we the weirdest ways possible you know um this one i think i tracked somebody down at a convention he tried to sell it to a vendor and the vendor only bought uh, bought and sold silver age books and um yeah, so when he got denied from that booth, I went after him and asked him, hey, what's up with that book? You know, so we negotiated and I was happy, he was happy. 
he tried to sell me other books too, but this is the one I really cared about. Um, I think I actually got the 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 variant from the Secret Wars as well, where she's on the cover. So that was cool. I, I really like that book too. And then I also submitted this one, which is another copy of Howard the Duck number one, first appearance of Gwenpool. It's a raw name cover. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just like one of those things, dude, where I was just like, this, I have a lot of these books. Let me, let me slap them and, you know, see what I can get. So I did it. I, you know, I press, yeah, I pressed both of them. Um, you know, they came back 9-8. I mean, one of them was like, the corner was, I was a little bit con concerned about the corner because there was like a little bit of the page, like, you know, from, I guess, taking it off the press, it was like a little piece hanging and I think at some point I like tore it off by accident but I guess it didn't affect the grade so hey whatever just goes to show you can do some little, little things here and there to, to your books and you'll still get a 9-8 and the last book last but not least is another copy of Howard the Duck number one first appearance of Gwenpool uh, Raw limb cover. So I got, I had, I've been holding on to three copies forever. And so when I made my submissions to CGC, um, I immediately grabbed all three of these because um, out of all three of them, I really wanted a 9 8. And it just turns out that all of them were 9 8s. So I mean, that, that just surprised me too. And this one also concerned me too that. It had the digital sticker on there, and, but this one didn't. And I did press all three of them. So, um, wow, I was just like, dude, this is this is awesome for my first batch of CGCs. So I, um, you know, I I, I just kind of like was really happy about it. Um, a lot of my my comic book film club friends were happy for me because um, they, you know, they know. They know kind of what I, you know, as far as like pressing and cleaning books. They know the stuff, the, the type of stuff I've been through uh, regarding that. Um, I, in no way am I a professional, and um, you know, I just try to take my time and make sure it's done properly to um, to get the best grade possible. And you know, if if I don't get the best, if I don't get a good grade, then, you know. I tried, you know, that's all that, that matters, I guess, you know, I mean, my lowest one is a 9.92, I mean, I think that's pretty dang good, so, um, so yeah, I got three of these, I got two spider glens, I mean, just, you know, it was a good day, man, like, really good day, so, um, you know, I, I plan on submitting more books, and um, hopefully, uh, I'm thinking about like maybe a Silver Age run. Um, you know, Silver Age books are like, you know, really fun to press and clean because the paper is so forgiving. So uh, um, I just, uh, you know, I'm kind of excited to, to do another run and be more uh, consistent about it. Um, you know, maybe do like a few books a month or something like that. Um, especially with the turnaround times, and, you know, 20 days, that was like, you know, I'm an impatient person, and uh, that was, uh, it was a fast turnaround for sure. But, um, yeah, so if you guys would like to see more videos of me unboxing, or even like doing raw books, I mean, I, I get a ton of raw books from, you know, stores, conventions, shows, and stuff like that. Um, you know, just make a little note on the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I plan to do to to make more content for my YouTube video. Um, there's a lot of stuff I get, and it's just like, you know, a lot of the, you know some of the stuff I get, are, you know, is uh, rare stuff or hard to find stuff or stuff that people are looking for. Um, 
you know, yeah, I just, uh, I, mean, I just enjoy collecting it. If, uh, you know, if you're a collector like me and you say you share the same, compa you know, the same passion for the, uh, for collecting, you might want to, uh, you know, see about joining the Comic Book Fiend Club. We're on Instagram at Comic Book Fiend Club. Um, we're all, we also have a website, comicbookfiendclub dot com, and um, all you know, we're all, pretty much across all social medias, and um, you know, we take submissions uh, twice a year, April and October. So if that's something that um, you may might be interested in, check out our page, see if it's something that you'd want to to join. We have. Uh, we have like six different chapters now, uh, West, Midwest, South, East, International, and Canada. So, um, you know, take a look, and if, if it's something that, you know, you're interested in, you know, hit me up, hit the, the Instagram page up. We have a YouTube now, you know, hit us up. We're really friendly, and, um, you know, we enjoy doing what we do, and, you know, we also do like charity and stuff like that, and. You know, we help each other out as far as our collections goes. So, yeah, take a look at it. And, um, you know, I guess this will be uh, the end of the video. Um, like I said, uh, make sure you like and follow. And um, have a good one.